So I'm seeing these three pieces and when I have to graph these, uh, if you've watched some of my other videos, um, when I have to graph these piecewise to find functions, I'll put some dotted lines, vertical lines, where, I, where the, we're changing the function. Okay, so what I'm seeing on this, so when x is less than or equal to negative 1, I'm going to graph the horizontal line, y equals 0. Now, some people might be having a little bit of trouble that when I have y equals a constant, that's going to be a horizontal line. Because really what's happening is y equals 0 slope plus the y-intercept, right? But we don't worry about the writing the 0 slope. So I, I, they're telling me it's 0, so I'm going to have a uh, filled-in circle because it's inclusive. And I'm going to shade to the left. Then what I've got to do is I'll probably do, let's see, let's see you know, getting my math to understand what you put in is the hardest part about this. Um, if you can do this manually and get it right, then, you know, you're golden. You know, don't worry so much about putting it in this in my open math. Uh, now, for the next piece, I see, and this is some people this semester have been having a hard time with this. So... Uh, this is remember. This is just a, 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 a linear function with a slope and a y-intercept. So what I would do to graph this is I would, I, by hand, I would graph the negative one, and then I know the slope is negative one. So down one, right one, and then go, I'd go up. I'd go backwards. I'd go up one, left one, and that's that's open, right? And that's, there's that graph here. Let me change this so it's blue. Now. Here's the here's the tricky part with my open math. I think it's been a while since I've done this and gotten it right. Um, I think what I would do is I would put I, I what I would do is put I would put an open circle first here. I would then I would click on the the the, the line um, probably use the ray line maybe, and I would go down to here and stop, and then I put in a filled in circle, and uh, Hopefully that would take it. If not, like I said, and then this is going to be an open circle at, at when x equals one, it's y equals one, and then it's a horizontal line. Okay, I, does that give you the help you need here? Let me do a little erasing so it looks like the right answer. That should be gone here. I'm going to clean that one out too. Okay, so it's going to be down like this, um, filled in here, and then uh, filled in here. Okay, so that's what that piecewise defined function looks like.